All right, joined by uh, Arrows uh, GM Tim Matthews now. So Tim, obviously, uh, you know, today is kind of the, the end of a bit of a difficult season for you guys. Just uh, what were your, uh, your thoughts just on the, uh, you know, not just necessarily the match today, but the, uh, the season as a whole this year? Yeah, well, you know, I actually think today's match was indicative of, of the season, you know, in, in a way. Uh, had our chances, uh, a couple of injuries, and uh, but the guys, you know, hung in there and fought and, you know, ended on a positive. So uh, that's what we'll look to do, uh, you know, after, as I say, after a long season, lots of lessons, lots of takeaways, uh, everything will be reviewed and we build toward next season. Yeah, that was going to be uh, kind of my, my next question. This is obviously going to be your first full off season at the helm of the Toronto Air. Um, is there anything like right now, like even uh, before doing that review, that you're kind of looking at, like as the uh, you know the top of the list um, as you look to uh, build the arrows uh, going into next year? Yeah, so it's actually a great segue for me to plug the Coast to Coast Cup. Uh, I'm on a plane heading to Halifax to watch our academy, the BC Bears, and the Atlantic Select. So uh, yeah, the the eye is already turned toward the future and. Uh, uh, that'll be a big part of it. So obviously as well, I guess part of that too is going to be you guys have, are going to have probably, I guess, the second overall pick in the draft this year. Um, how much of like, a, and obviously a handful of younger players too, um, making the you know play, making their debuts, like guys like Matt Fish today. Yep. How much is kind of like, you know, that uh, say like under 23 sort of age group uh, going to be yeah. important uh, as you guys look to go forward? Yeah, it's now. an important cohort for us, for sure. Um, you know, when we look at roster composition, we need to make sure that we've got guys who are starting and guys who are getting ready to start so sort of from a development standpoint so the draft the academy uh, guys at universities uh, are certainly uh, areas that we need to make sure that we're on top of um, you know and, and to that point I'll actually be heading down to Utah uh, for the uh, the collegiate shield uh, in July that'll be a part of it as well perfect and uh, so I guess uh, I guess kind of final questions and stuff it's like any like big changes or anything that we uh, fans can be like kind of expecting going forward too soon to really answer that or too I soon guess. but I think my, my smart would let you know that uh, I'm excited to, to get into my first off season and uh, and uh, really start to put a stamp on the organization. Perfect, Tim. Thank you for your time. All right, joined by uh, Arrows flanker James O'Neill now. So uh, James, obviously, you know, really good first half from you guys. Unfortunately, the game kind of got away from you at the end. Just uh, you know, kind of what the thoughts on the game as you guys uh, close out a difficult season today? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, really wanted that win. I really, really wanted that win. I mean, I know. It's been a really tough season. That was incredibly disappointing. Uh, but you know, you can't fault the effort from the boys. I'm really proud of the boys. I mean, we left all out there. The amount of boys who come in this year, and the debuts we've had, the injuries. And you make all the excuses you want in the world, but I mean, at the end of the day, the boys dug in and fought for each other, and that's what you can really hope for. So. Yeah, and um, you know, kind of in saying that, it's like, what is uh, I know ultimately um, it wasn't enough at the end. But what does it mean to you guys to kind of end the last play of your season is a is a pretty big try? Yeah, I mean that's just the character, right? I mean you can see from like the 50th, 60th minute we're getting ran over in the scrums pretty good, and then for whatever reason decided to turn around and really dig in there. So I mean, like the personnel in the scrum didn't change, but you could just see the mindset was there, and we just kept fighting. And I mean, yeah, having that intercept try at the end was great. I mean, really, really lucky. Uh, the NOLA player decided to drop the ball over the line, but I mean, I don't know if he paid him off or whatever, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, great, great ending for the boys. Like, you know, forget about the, the scoreboard and everything, like, just great effort. So. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you yourself also contributed on the scoreboard in this game today, had a, another try. Um, just kind of like, what were you kind of seeing on that play? Because it looked a little chaotic, couple of loose balls there that you were able to capitalize on. Yeah, exactly. It was really, really loose. I mean, ball scored on the ground, and I just kind of tucked my head and hoped for the best. And, just classic little one one meter rumble. So perfect. And uh, you also uh, this week it was announced that you were nominated for the uh, uh, Marcus Callaway Award from MLR. Um, obviously, you know that's a pretty prestigious award. Um, t last year, teammate Andrew Crotchin run it, so uh, pretty good history with the Arrows as well. And um, what does the uh, being nominated for that award mean to you? Yeah, absolutely huge honor. I mean, you look at our team. I know. Like forget about the results of the season, but I mean, you just think about uh, all the characters we have on this team and all the, the great guys we have. And for me to be nominated, um, you know, I, I think the nomination could have gone to a number of guys. So I'm just incredibly honored and just thankful. Perfect, James. Thanks for your time, man. All right, joined by uh, Arrows Fly Half Sam Malcolm now. So Sam, obviously. Uh, you know, a uh, bit of a difficult result today. Um, unfortunately, you know, an end to a tough season for you guys. Uh, just uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on the game and uh, the season as a whole um, as, you know, the year winds down for you? Yeah, just on the game, I think. You know, we started really well. Um, got up by 10 points. Uh, and 
and then just sort of lost a bit of focus and a few little discipline errors that, that let us down and, and put them in the right area of the field. Um, we had chances, uh, but we just couldn't quite capitalise and just a few mistakes uh, let us down. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously the season isn't really what we'd hoped for or after, um, but there's definitely a lot of lessons that we've learned and um, you know management and uh, the guys higher up are making some really uh, tough actions, but uh, yeah, hopefully next year it's, it's going to be a lot better. Yeah, and uh, obviously, you know, as the season kind of winds down, like what does the next couple of weeks look like for you guys as you maybe kind of have to evaluate what happened and start looking towards next year? Yeah, so um, there's a review process, so each person has individual review and then um, obviously coaches and those higher up get reviewed as well. Um, and then, yeah, most of the boys uh, go back home or go back to their home provinces uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, some guys will go back and, and play rugby or some guys will just go back and, and work. So, uh, yeah, every person is different. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, one kind of... Uh I know obviously this is the end of a bit of a disappointing year for you guys, but kind of cool to see basically the whole team out signing autographs, playing with some kids, kicking rugby balls around with some kids and stuff after the game. What does it kind of mean to you guys to uh, kind of see like the fan support grow over the years despite uh, maybe despite what the, the record may say at the end of the day too? Yeah, it's great to see the fans out and about. Um, and uh, they're a big part of this, uh, of this club and uh, you know, for the players to get out and get amongst it, it just helps lift out the whole, uh, whole environment. I guess. Um, so, yeah, always a pleasure to go out and, and sign autographs and uh, hopefully see a few of those kids uh, in Arrow's jersey one day. Perfect, Sam. Thank you for your time.